Hi, I'm Martin. I've actually come down to Full Neck. I thought I'd actually come down here and show some of my American friends and family and other people from around the world just the area that I actually live in. I mean, I've just come literally probably just away from my estate and it's a place called Full Neck and I've walked down and walked right down to my one of my favourite spots. So I'm just going to give a quick show you around. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you come down here We've got a golf club over there, you've got this little stream that runs right through the middle. You've got uh, a little metal bridge. And this is one of my favourite spots. I used to come here with my uh, dog um, Barney before he passed away unfortunately. And uh, you know, we had to come down and sit around here and our Barney used to play in there. I mean this is absolutely beautiful. I mean I'm not keen on the wet mud as you're walking around but let's face it, it can be uh, good anyway. I'll take you on a little walk, I've got some two people having sandwiches over there so we don't want to disturb them. Because obviously when you get weather like this, it's not often, but when we do get weather like this, it is nice just to come for a little stroll. I mean, you're watching golf ball fly down golf course. Oh, nearly into one of the bunkers. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to walk along here. I don't think I've actually walked all the way around, but We'll go for a little walk and I'll take you with me. I'll do a bit of recording. Sorry about the camera being so unsteady, but obviously I'm walking on uneven ground. I mean, them ladies went on the walk there and they went all the way around and came back around on themselves. So I'm wondering if I can do the same. I mean, it is a very beautiful place and I suppose as long as I stick to the outside of the golf course. Yeah, there's some golfers up there. Teeing off and kick, whacking their golf balls as far as they can. Yeah, I don't know any of them. My granddad plays for the, with them lot, but I don't know any of these guys. Well, I'll zoom back out because if not, you're not going to see anything. Oh, gotta be careful, I don't want to go falling in here with my camera and my tablet on my back and everything else. <laughs> oh, hit tree. Oh, hit tree. That's bad. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that on camera because I don't know how sensitive the mic is, but that's gorgeous, that sound of the water running like that. I could just sit here and I could just chill out and think. You do get the odd fish in there, but they're hard to see and they're normally underneath the water. I'm going to see if I can walk round and go up the side of Full Neck, up the course. I think these are built through here, but I can't remember. It's been a long time since I took a stroll round. Oop. Yeah, it's very bog land, is this? It's, uh, you can tell this is definitely a uh, trail walking round the edges of the course, not actually. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I've got my big boots on, because I've had them others on, and I've probably been sinking and sliding everywhere now. There's a sign here, I'm going to go up and read it, what it says in a minute. I don't know if you can actually see that. Oh, I'm just going to have to go up a little bit, because I'm slipping and sliding, and I don't want to end up covered in mud. If not, I'll say, Moravian Settlement. 545 545 Can you see it? I don't know if you can see that. Mohavian Settlement 545 metres. I know it's not miles because I can't I live near that settlement. But yeah, it's over. Oh cool waterfall. Oh that's cool. Good no way to make your waterfall near there. Oh, that's beautiful, just running down like that constantly because of uh, how the grounds are. I'm trying to stay out the course itself because I don't want to cross on the course. Where possible I want to just stay on the outskirts because uh, you get bollocked if you go on the golf course. The more you're crossing the course, but the, it does look like there's going to be a route round somewhere. 
I don't really know where the golf course is from here because it's been such a long time since I've done this and when I say a long time I mean really a long time I mean I'm walking right on the edges so I'm not going onto their land I'm not damaging the course heck if anything I'm near their uh, one of the biggest hazards I've got was this little stream all the way down I'm sure that they don't really want to actually come this far down with their balls because if they've gone this far down the balls in that bloody water I haven't seen any yet so they either fish them out or they uh, avoid it like the plague I mean I can't tell that there's no actual uh, flags down this way I can see hazards I can see where they shoot from okay with a dog on the golf course I've only allowed dogs on golf course Alright, I don't know. Ah, right, I can see where I'm heading to. There's a fence over there that's signposted and barriered, so I'm going to head to there and uh, go around from there. I'm sure I'm going to have people. It looks like we've got moles. Not guaranteed, but little hills everywhere. Broken loose soil. Uh, and there's loads of them together. That's a possibility then. I won't, I won't say that you... Uh, Oh Jesus, this ground is impossible to walk on. I will need to uh, give my boots a wash when I get in, purely because of all of that. <sighs> yep. Oh. oh wow, it is very beautiful here though. It's white and calming. And like I said, you can't really see but how beautiful is this. Huh? Just how beautiful is this place? And this is right on my doorstep. This is why when Jin gets things saying she's bored or, or frustrated or anything like that, go out for a walk. I know you say weather's not always great, but go for a walk, relax. I mean, come down here and, and enjoy this. It's what I try and do anyway. If I did, I'd go crazy. I mean, this is something different. This is something that you don't get in most places. Just be able to come out and enjoy yourself and relax. Enjoying this kind of uh, beauty. Hmm? Yeah, with a tea plate there, so I've got to be careful because I'm literally right next to one of the uh, stands for where they start the course. So I'm wondering if, if I head this way, I'm going to end up where I can walk up. If not, I'm going to walk all the way back. If I do, I'll record it too, but what we're saying here. Yeah, I don't really care about promoting your businesses. Hole 5, par 4, hole 14, par 4. Yeah, fair enough. It's all about full neck golf club. Yeah, because this land that we're actually walking on now, this corner, this bit where we are, is part of full net golf course. These are path through, I'm going to follow it. Like I said, I'm going to enjoy today, I'm just going to go out for a walk and see what I can do. I was bored at home and uh, I was getting frustrated, so I thought, right, yeah, let's go for a walk. I mean, Jen did make me a lovely bacon, bacon and egg sandwich this morning which really nice and a coffee we had a bit of talk on CB with a guy called Cooperman and his friends uh, oh gee uh, <laughs> it is a trail that comes through here but if you can see the dirt and mud I am going to be very cautious crossing here because I, I am going to be slipping and sliding and I don't want to get the camera dirty I don't care if I get dirty, my god I can go home, I can get a shower I can get washed and chased like that but the fact that I'm wearing my backpack and I've got a 200 odd pound camera in my hand might not be the best idea to go falling face first actually I'm probably better off landing on my face than I would actually putting the hand down to protect myself <laughs> right, I'm going to try and cut around some of that mud because if I don't I will end up falling in it and I really don't want to uh, like I said, get my camera damaged, my, uh, my tablet damaged 
and you say, well, if you knew you were going on a walk, why did you bring your blooming tablet? I've just been sat down in my favourite spot back there, watching wrestling, getting fresh air, just chilling and relaxing. And why? Because I can. That's why. I don't need a reason. It's just nice to be out and about doing something different, you know what I mean? It isn't about anything but going for a walk and enjoying life. Or trying to enjoy life. I mean, I've probably walked past the actual main bit for Full Night Golf Course because I can't remember how long we well, across. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm going to try and get over here, but as you can see, I will be walking on slop. I don't know how far I can go across here, but let's find out, eh? Uh, coming up to 11 minutes of video, so I'm going to stop it soon and start again. That way I can put the videos together and sort out what I actually want to show and what I don't want to show. <sighs> yeah, but it's, oh, flop and sink. Look at that, look at the my shoe already. Nice. I heard the... <laughs> Which was quite sickening really, but it's fine. Like I said, get home, I'll... Wash my shoes off. But these are my uh, shoes that I like to walk in anyway because they're a bit heavier and sturdier than some of the others. Oh wow, look at how beautiful this is down here. Right, I'm going to stop camera just briefly just to take some pictures. I'm going to stop it in literally about 15 seconds because I want to actually get the. Uh, 12 minutes and then I'll stop it. Six, yeah, two, now.